Hello everyone, this is Prodigious TCC, that's Prodigious the Trading Card Collector, and today we're going to be looking at a Japanese match of uh, Blastoise EX versus View, View, Mew VMAX. So the person on the left is playing the Mew deck, and the person on the right is playing Blastoise. Just a note, that Pokemon Go Squirtle, adorable. I absolutely love that art. So let's take a look at what's going on. So Mew player is going first, Nest Ball for Genesect, Ultra Balling away, a Echoing Horn and a Path for a Mew, dropping the Mew down, attaching double turbo for turn using the uh, tech, or the Fusion Trick system to draw a card, Ultra Balling away a Power Tablet, and I'm not exactly sure what the other card is uh, for another Genesect. And then using the Genesex ability to draw four more cards and passing the turn. Okay. Battle VIP pass. That's always a good way to start. And going to grab a Radiant Greninja and another Squirtle. Uh, Radiant Greninja discarding a card to draw or an energy to discard to grab two card or to top, top two cards off your deck. Jeez Louise. Draw two cards. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and then they got a... Squovit and a Bidoof attaching for turn and passing. So I'm just going to, uh, ooh, smart idea to attach to the um, benched Squirtle with the Mew. You never know if this one's going to get knocked out. So power up your backup first and the retreat costs only one. If you got a switch or anything like that, you can switch into it. But most likely this one's going to be knocked out by the Mew player. Uh, cramming away a battle VIP pass and failing it, as most Mew players do. <laughs> um, going to lay down a Meloetta and grab three cards with the uh, Fusion Trick system, attach a Choice Belt and a Forest Seal Stone. Choice Belt's not really going to help because that deck is EX only, I believe. And we're going to judge away your hands to look at new hands of four, attach another Forest Seal Stone. Going to use one of them for Mew V Max. That makes sense. They've got a good board state set up at the moment and is going to swing for 210 minus the 20 for the double turbo. So 190. More than enough to knock out the Squirtle. So the Bidoof goes down. I just realized why they do this. Um, so they put a marker on the marker that they use for the ability onto new cards that they put down like they've got the Bidoof here in this one uh just to show that it's just can't it's just gone down and cannot be evolved that's why because i've seen them put stuff like that on before and i'm like why are they putting a marker on that it's to notify that it cannot be evolved anyways uh Bidoof going up to the barrel going to use the barrels uh, industrious incisors to draw up to five cards into the hair up until they have five cards in their hand Going to, I think that was a Radiant Greninja for two. Radiant Greninja's concealed cards to discard an energy, draw two cards, and they're playing an Irida to grab a water Pokemon and an item. So going for an Ultra Ball and a Blastoise, we're canning the Squirtle up to the Blastoise EX. Nice, and what are their plans next? Cutting the deck. Swinging. Okay. Uh, discarding one energy to do 140 points of damage to that Mew in the active position. So it has... One... I, I can't... Uh, one third... So it is 310. That's so 300. So it'll be... 200... 170 left? 170. I don't know why that took me so long. Nest Ball for another Mew. Uh, choice Belt. Lost Vacuuming. A Lost Vacuum to get the Forest Seal Stone off. Just clearing out hand space. Genesec to draw five more cards. Switching. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Switch. That was weird. Sure. I mean, yeah. Why not? Okay. Yeah. I was just confused why they would retreat into the Genesect and then switching cart when they could have... It doesn't matter. It's just weird to me to see a Genesect go up and then go away. <laughs> so, Elisa Sparkles for the Mew and the Meloetta, using the ability to draw two more cards off the uh, Genesect, attaching the energy for turn. 
and doing 190 points of damage minus 30 because of the blastoise's ability for 160 so that's not bad so you need well you need actually because 160 and 160 is 320 and it's a 330 pokemon so you actually need to either hit uh three times to get that extra 10 in there or you need a power tablet for on one of those attacks for knockout all right so player on the right is discussing i'm guessing they're discussing palkia in the deck only way i can think of palkia um being mentioned in there um going to raiding greninja for concealed cards evolve up into the bibarel going to use energy retrieval to put two energy into the hand ultra balling away a uh, battle vip pass and an energy to grab that squirtle attaching an energy to the squirtle going to industrial incisors grab an iono so not too too terribly impactful i mean different right now because it's five six but if it was like one six it'd be huge and then dropping on the artisan uh and going to discard two energies to knock out that meal all right uh putting up the mew and attaching a double turbo that's good i was because i was i was like why are you going to promote this one because it has energy attached to it but yeah throw this one up there with a the double tur and attach a double turbo if you have it in hand that makes sense and then going to use art zone to grab to grab nothing lost zone um going to use the genesex ability to draw in your hand ultra balling away two battle vip passes perfect uh, ultra ball material there uh to grab the mu v max and genesecting for three cards to fill up your hand retreating into the meloetta and meloetta can swing for two ten minus thirty Yeah, 210 minus 30, which would be 190. 180. 17, 17, 14, 21. Um, oh, so that blast, sorry, that Blastoise went to the lost zone with the Squirtle and promoting up the Squirtle with an energy. I'm just trying to do math. <laughs> I'm very slow at it today. Uh, attaching for turn, Irida for a rare candy and a Blastoise. Boom, rare candy, Blastoise goes right on, which is pretty great. Love the rare candy blast. Like, the rare candies are so helpful. Uh, searching for an energy with the energy search. Boom, into hand. Dropping down another Squirtle. Uh, using industrial incisors. And then discarding an energy to knock out that Meloetta. Pretty nice Mew VBAX is being promoted up with the double turbo on it. Now the other Mew that is in here is powered up completely with Fusion Strike Energy, which means it can swing for the full 210 um, if it gets promoted up minus the 30 on top of that instead of having to minus the 20 and the 30 because of the uh, double turbo. Going to cram a escape rope and 6E. You don't see that very often with Mew players. Uh, going to grab a card and another Mew and going to use the Fusion Strike system to draw cards. And then going to swing for 160. So that'd be the 210 minus 20 minus 30. All right. And now it's a Blastoise player's turn. They are going to squove it their whole hand away to the bottom to draw one card. And then industrial incisors, I would assume, to draw four more cards to basically get a brand new hand. Ultra Bowling Way, an Irida and an Iono to grab the Blastoise. Where can do that Blastoise right up? Nice, nice, nice. Love it. And going to industrial incisors to grab four more cards. Ultra Ball, a. Uh, Ultra Ball, a Bidoof, an Ultra Ball, and a Battle VIP Pass. Interesting. <laughs> And going to um, get rid of the VIP pass and the Bidoof to Superior Energy Restoration, which is discard two cards and draw up to four energy. You can't discard two energy and then grab those energies off of the disc that you discarded. You can't grab what you discarded. Uh, and then grabbing four water energies. So that is an easy... Uh, I don't know if they're going to discard one or two. 
I'm going to use the Radiant Greninja's ability. I'm not exactly sure why they're showing their hand, what they're drawing. I'm guessing it's just for fun because he they can see the writing on the wall that they are probably going to win this. Going to discard one energy to do 140, and the next turn they can discard two energy. Um, attach. Going to uh, escape rope. Get rid of that uh, blastoise. They're just using escape rope. So I'm, I'm assuming to thin their hand, moving the mew up. Going to boss's orders the hurt blastoise. I'm going to assume they're going to pal pad that. Okay, pal pad the. Boss's orders back into the deck. Genesect to draw three cards. Nice. There is a power tablet going to retreat into the injured Mew of VMAX and going to swing for uh, 190, which would be the knockout on that Blastoise. So it is one prize left on the left, two prizes left on the right. That Mew is a sitting duck. It just needs two energies to be... Um, Discarded and it's knocked out. <laughs> uh, there it is. Prizes. The last Mew VMAX was prized. That's why they couldn't. Because with this, right? Like, oh, it could have just thrown 70 points of damage. Um, minus 20 to 50. Minus 30 to 20 points of damage onto the Blastoise. But then could have th uh, put that Mew VMAX back into the deck. And then could have promoted up another Mew, another fresh Mew VMAX and could have done that a couple times or whatever they needed to do. But they didn't have the extra Mew VMAX, so that explains why they uh, why they couldn't do anything like that. So they are grabbing energies from the discard pile and they just need to discard their two energies and that Mew VMAX is gone. And there we have it. That is the end of the game there. Um, pretty simple. Blastoise is really throwing out some good damage there, especially if you can't heal it off. Um, Mew VMAX player, I mean, they had their th third Mew VMAX prize, unfortunately. Otherwise, they could have done some shenanigans. But even still, they could have done some, like, the Psychic Leap to do, like, when that one was damaged. Next turn, Psychic Leap back into the deck. Maybe used a, I guess maybe they didn't have an Ultra Ball or tried to get it with the Genesex to put it back on. And then there are options, but like it's a very risky kind of thing. Um, let us look at the Blastoise list. We've got right here. Blastoise player was playing four Blastoise EX, four Squirtle, a 3-2 line of uh, Bidoof, Bibarel, uh, one Radiant Greninja, one Squovit, a Manaphy, which they didn't need. 12 energy nice that's not bad at all they got the raihan in there they've got a bunch of energy retrieval and some energy search in there it's a pretty solid deck i think um not exactly sure how it's going to be changed and altered for when um uh, it comes over when we get the exs ourselves because it's a best of one system over in japan best of three over here but i can definitely see some chen pao in there to grab the um energies from the deck retreat it get that blasters out start throwing them cards away something like that uh, but anyways my name has been prodigious tcc that's prodigious the trading card collector let me know what you thought of this video and this matchup and blastoise ex itself but until i see you next time have a fantastic day